Russia has called the release of the UN's atomic watchdog report on Iran as inappropriate. The IAA says the new findings suggest that Iran has been working on developing nuclear weapons and has credible evidence to prove it. Russian president, uh, Iranian president rather, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad has criticized the report and said Tehran won't stop its peaceful nuclear development. And this comes as the Russian president warns that militarist rhetoric in the Middle East could lead to a catastrophic war in the region. Russia has been voicing strong words against an attack on Iran following statements by Israel that a strike is more likely than diplomacy. And uh, let's talk more on this with international consultant and author Adrian Salbucci, who joined us now from Buenos Aires. Mr. Salbucci, thank you so much for your time. So the findings of this report are partly based on intelligence. From your point of view, how reliable is it and how much evidence could the IA pr present to support these claims? Well, clearly the evidence seems to come from, two, they repeatedly mentioned several me uh, member states, and those member states are obviously the United States, Britain, France, and, in, and it might even be Israel itself, whereby they say that based on this information that they have gathered, they have so-called proof that Iran does have a nuclear weapons program. However, the proof is very vague. It is not, it's not uh, properly substantiated, at least not from the report that we've seen, the 25-page report that was released today. And the, the, the point is that uh, Iran itself has said that it is evidence that is fabricated. Uh, President Ahmadinejad has referred to the is Iranophobia on the part of the United States, Britain, France, and notably Israel, who are permanently sabal uh, rattling to attack uh, Iran. So I think that there are many double standards here, one of which is why should we trust the United States, France, Britain, and, and, and the United Kingdom, for example, with nuclear weapons and Israel, and we cannot, however, trust Iran, and the whole world should be uh, thrown into a cat catastrophic war just to stop Iran from having a possible nuclear deterrence. The U.S. and Israel have repeatedly threatened military action against Iran if it goes ahead with nuclear weapons research. Are we one step closer to see those threats come true now that the report is published? Yes, uh, uh, definitely Israel has been threatening this for years now, but they have what uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu has called a window of opportunity, which is about now, first of all, because the United States will be uh, withdrawing some troops from Iraq in the next year. Second, because they have this so-called uh, uh, plot that they discovered about Iran, or they say that they discovered about Iran trying to assassinate the Saudi uh, Arabian ambassador. And third, because winter is coming in that region. So if Israel is tempted to do anything, it will have to do it now. However, the point that the mainstream media are not making is that over the past hundred years, Iran has invaded and attacked nobody. It has, however, been invaded by Britain in World War I, by Britain and the former Soviet Union in World War II in 1941 to grab its oil, when its democratically elected president, Mohammed Mossadegh, nationalized the Iranian oil company, which is today British Petroleum, the CIA-backed coup got rid of him, imposed the Shah of Persia, Pahlavi, until 1979. And when in 1979, Iran recovers its own identity, immediately one Saddam Hussein, I think we all remember him, was in the service of the United States, Britain and Israel with chemical weapons of mass destruction provided by the United States to lead an eight-year war of attrition against Iran. So if anything, one has to ask, who is the danger in the region? The United States, Britain, France and Israel or Iran who has invaded and attacked nobody in a century? All right, Adrian Salbucci, international consultant and author, thank you very much indeed for sharing your views with us. Thank you.